Hello and welcome back to Factorial. <clears throat> and in the last episode, we did a bunch of exploring. We found a lot of biters and a bit of resources here and there. <clears throat> now, the reason why we did exploring is because we have not a lot of stone left at this point. We have like 75k and going down steadily. Um, so we have now taken our car out to this 9.5 million stone patch. In the last episode we did set up the the tracks for the station where it, where it should be. We put down the wall all around where we are going to say that this is our outpost. And we made use of the cliffs so we don't have to use as many walls and it will be somewhat easier to defend. Now, now we just need to put down a bunch of turrets. And when I say a bunch of turrets, I mean a bunch of turrets, because we, at this point, have a lot of the big biters and spitters. And they do a lot of damage. Quite a lot of damage, to be honest. And... I don't want to um, take that damage if I can avoid it, especially if it's on an outpost for something we really need. And... Um, haven't even set up yet really and I don't want to lose this um, before I even power it up and put down the miners so I am being I, I, I am putting down a lot of gun turrets now I don't think we are going to have enough I am going to have to be a bit bars on this part sadly let's put one there and then the rest of the two over here like that now hopefully we don't get that many over here like down here in this pocket here but you never know you never know now we should have enough turret coverage at this point and where the cliffs uh, are they can't pass and they can't destroy the cliffs so we should be fine let's take a look yeah we are covering all basically all the way around even the cliff areas so there's a tiny bit over here that's not covered but that should be fine <clears throat> now what we need to do is to put down the track so let's see let's mm -hmm. Remove all the unnecessary bits and take out what we need, which is the signals and a few bits and bobs. Uh, let's see if we can sort this a bit better. Uh, I, I wish there were a sort button in in this to basically 
sort it. <laughs> I wish. Uh, I really wish there were, uh, because it can get quite messy if you don't have that, so... I'm going to pick up the big electric poles and there we are that that's a bit neater that's a bit better now I should yeah I should do like right here at least a somewhat drivable entrance um <clears throat> Now, let's take the blueprint and use it. There is a reason why I'm using the car is and that is because I don't want to go back for it. Really. Now, this base is very close and it's very big. We're going to have to see about how close we can get here without triggering it. I don't want to trigger it, it's going to be super annoying if I do. I am going to have to re remove that one, it's way too close. They shouldn't try to go for the power poles, but you never know. I'm going to bring this almost straight out for quite a while, I believe. Let's take a peek. Yeah, I, sh I want to basically drag it straight out uh, all the way, uh, or rather as far as possible, which might be possible to go all the way. If I do a bit of landfill, I might even go be able to go the whole way. Um, now, here we are going to have to grenade a bit, so... Because I don't want all this all this wood. Oh, yeah, we are going to have to go back to get a bit of cliff explosives. Because I actually do want to go completely straight uh, here. So I am actually going to go back and um, get some cliff explosives. Now we were we were very lucky that they didn't trigger. We didn't trigger that giant base, which was really lucky. Uh, they could have triggered. Um, I would not have. Like, I wouldn't have been surprised if they did trigger, but they didn't, which I am happy about, but I wouldn't have been, as I said, surprised if they did. Now, let's see, where can we find an opening? Here's an opening. Now, I didn't look um, at the minimap or the track even. Uh, I was just lucky at that point that no train ca came and wrecked my day, uh, which... Let it be a lesson. Make sure to always, at all times, regardless of what you think, Make sure you always look at the minima, the map, 
and stay zoomed out to the absolute max uh, zoom. And assume that a train is go going to just appear out of nowhere while you cross over. That's that's my uh, big advice when it comes to crossing train tracks is that assume that the train is going to appear out of nowhere just destroying everything for you now if you do die <clears throat> it's not that bad um in single player anymore i am saying anymore because uh up until a certain point uh, to a certain update I can't remember if which one it was but before that update uh, came if you died in single player uh, it was just game over you had to do a reload of a save to actually be able to go back now you actually have uh now now you are actually possible like it's actually possible to respawn in single player um uh, and go back and get your body with all the stuff you had now that doesn't mean it's going to be simple it's just not going to be as punishing as it was before where you just flat out died let's continue building this and so yeah and the thing is if you get run over by train you are going to die now if you're in a vehicle it is a 50 50 chance you survive you might die you might survive you never know uh, but if uh, depending on the vehicle uh, you might die if you're in a tank you might survive if you're in a car you're definitely not going to survive um, even if you survive uh, survive the car isn't going to survive so be aware and all the stuff uh, in a car if this car gets gets destroyed gets destroyed along with the car exactly the same as with a chest because technically the car is a big chest. <clears throat> Let's continue building the track. Now, as I said, be very, very careful when you uh, cross over a train, uh, like a train track system where there are active trains running. So, do be careful, make sure you look all over the place, look at the minimap, uh, look, look, stay zoomed out as far as you can and see if you can spot it or like really really try to not get get destroyed. To remove these trees here because they are somewhat in the way now we are going to have to destroy this thankfully it's not that big but still we will have to destroy it because it's in the way let's destroy them there we go And absolutely no damage taken. Wonderful. Even I didn't take any damage at the at that point. That was really, really good. Well done, me. I usually take some damage. Um, I did take some grenade damage so 
yeah, I usually take some damage uh, when fighting the bases. Um, I could have used the tank, but meh. I can't really say I care that much about the tank um, nowadays. The tank is a lot of fun. Don't, don't take me wrong. The tank is a lot of fun. Uh, it can be a bit finicky when it comes to the the cannon shells because they aren't they aren't as easy to aim with as uh, the machine gun. To be honest. Um, uh, and the thing with the the tank is it's really slow, so I usually don't use it because of that reason. It's uh, and it, because of how slow it is. So yeah, I usually try avoid it because of the speed it moves at. But that, it, it's not bad, it's just I feel the speed is a bit too slow. It would be really nice uh, if they added like... You could modify the, um, the specs of your vehicle, especially the tank, where you could like upgrade the engine or upgrade the, um, what do you call it, um, the guns or the armor, like the plating of it, and it, for example if you upgrade the plating you decrease the speed of the tank because it weighs down so the engine has a lot more weight to try to carry around. And yeah, the, I, I would say it would be it would be interesting to to have that kind of system. Now I do understand if they don't want that. Uh, because they already have like system for for you as a person for with the power armor. So, and to be honest, like the tank and stuff, uh, especially the especially like the tank, uh, the tank is the vehicle for you when you you yourself doesn't have any like m insanely good armor and stuff. Now. What do we want? We want landfill, and that's not here. It's not here. Let's go up where the landfill is. It's up here somewhere. It's up here. Right. Oh, right. I dismantle it, but I have 1.1k of it. It should be fine. <coughs> <clears throat> Let's put you away and pick you up and now I should shove away all the stone I have picked up. There we go, that should be fine. And I have to zoom out again because we are going to have to drive over the train tracks again and no trains, good. Here we go. Now we don't have that much left when it comes to, to this so let's see if we can get it done we can actually do something else as well. Sh 
shouldn't need, need more than that so what I should do is probably like this what I'm doing uh, here is keeping my mouse static and just run so I'm just running while keeping my mouse completely still which means I I um, don't mess up my placement here we go so let's turn on the roboport and continue building into the cars so we don't have to go back for that and yeah, I'm going to make a T-junction over here where, where we will uh, meet up. And this way we are not going to have to do any like weird turns and stuff. And this means the train can stay at top speed for super long period of times. So... This. It just barely was able to clear the, the big electric pole, which is good. <clears throat> now we'll see how we incorporate this, but wish I'm not going to go any further with the blueprint here because it's going to be a bit of a, an annoyance trying to, so. Whoop. I ran out of walls because I put my way right. Right. Please tell me I put my way. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Let's pick up a few. Uh, one, two, three, four. that's enough um what i'm going to do here is not use any uh like gun turrets i'm going to use laser turrets for this so we actually have some like proper defense Uh, without having to change how um, the fuel uh, or no, no fuel ammunition is being uh, moved on the belt I don't want to I, I don't want to move that it's fine where it is so let's do that and what I am going to do is actually put down a bit more just to do this so we can do this. The reason why is so in case there's something weird happening over here, we are not screwing ourselves. I'm going to do that. to pick these ones up so we are fine on that front there we go and it's done let's put one of these down there one there and like one there just to fill in the gaps i can't be bothered using the the gun turrets um that's it really now, let's see if we can finish this one up. Uh, we are going to need this one. Let's see what kind of modifications do we need to do. Uh, a few of them. Um, yeah, a few of them, really. It might actually be easier to do this. Like, seriously, it might be easier to just move it up a bit. And... Uh, just snake the last bit yeah 
what I'm going to do is honestly just not try to move the, the ammunition belt but rather just change this it doesn't really matter where this is being connected so let's remove those two and let's put it down like as far down as we can get away with so There we go. This one is better up there. There we go. Doesn't really matter as long as it's on the on that part. It's fine, but I usually want it to be as far up and close to where they can collide as possible. That's why I'm moving it. There we go, and... There we go! And let's do this just to, like, just to make this bit of track that is turning to meet up with the t-section to cut that into one like its own segment uh right we have actually at this point hooked up that station now do i have enough to make a radar no i do not and I don't have a radar on me. I need one radar for at least one for um, the outpost, the stone outpost. And I should probably try to pick up. Two just in case or maybe four. Yeah, let's do four. Let's pick up four of them at the very least. And have I made them automatically? Mm, doesn't look like it. So, okay, that but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Uh, we need a bit of iron. One, two, three, four. Now, we do need to... Um, set up stuff to be honest we we have to set up some stuff um like more science and stuff which means i might have to move these transport belts to go not down here but straight to the left and in between like down here yeah i probably need to do that change let's try to do that without having any transport belts on me because i put them in my car <sighs> yeah putting away stuff is not a bad thing uh, unless you forget that you put them away. I'm going to remove this. I don't want to run around. <clears throat> now, we are coming to the end of this episode. But I am going to... Change this belt so we actually have some space. Whoops, that was a tad too far. There we go. Let's 
Let's move this. There we go. And now we are going to pick up a bunch of resources. We technically don't want to, uh, in our inventory, but yeah, we're going to have to shove these away in the next episode. But I don't think we have more time than just picking up the belt. That oh, okay. We should probably remove all our belts. Let's pick these up with the F. Yeah, I need to pick this up just to not have it here so we can actually do stuff here if we want to do that the next episode uh, and keep it to be setting up something new and not tearing down something I can do in this episode and in a quick enough time. Yeah, we are still sort of on time. Um, yeah. We picked up a ton of batteries. Let's check how many batteries. Almost 1k of 1k batteries. Okay. That is fine. Now, we do have a, a lot more space to play with at this point, which is good because, yeah, if this way we can actually put in some more science. And we do have, what is it, utility science uh, left to do. That's the big thing that we have haven't done yet. Now it seems like we probably need to run these belts a bit uh, further out. Actually, it's not going to fit otherwise. Yeah, we are going to need even more space, but that's fine. We are going to have to worry about that in another episode because this episode has run its course we are at the end of it what we are going to do is finish up Ooh, dangerous to drive here but we are going to finish up the stone outpost uh, as much as possible really um, and then we probably should try to whoops we probably should try to make uh, some more science and, and new science but that as I said is going to have to wait until the next episode so for now while I try to drive and end the episode at the same time we are going to have to call this so thanks for watching goodbye and I hope I'll see you in the next one